Hi everyone, welcome back to Earl Grey Books. I'm Ellie and I'm here today to talk about all of the series that I have started so far this year. I thought it's kind of the midway point of the year so we'll talk about some of these as a way of me tracking which I end up continuing, which I end up finishing, and which I just don't ever come back to. <laughs> So I have a whole list of them here, I've written them all down. Um, there is quite a few, uh, some of these I have already. <laughs> Let's just move that. Um, some of these I have already continued and I'll talk about that as I go through them. So let's start. I am starting with the ones I read back in Jan and then we're just going through the year. I'm not probably not going to mention when I read them because I can't remember for some of them, but here we go. The first series that I started was this series, which is The Galactic Kings by Anna Hackett. This is book one, Overlord. Uh, I read this one as an ebook in preparation for Rare and then bought them at Rare. So I haven't continued this one yet because I was waiting for them. And then I just haven't had time in May to pick them up. So that's number one. Uh, and then I have Sin Demons, which is by Mila Young and Harper A. Brooks. Again, this is book one, Playing with Hellfire. Again, same situation where I was waiting for Rare. As of this weekend, I will own the entire series because I'm picking up the last two at babe so I can read the whole series hopefully by the end of the year. Our next one was another one I was reading in preparation for Rare. This is A Grim Space by Anne Aguirre. So I ended up buying the entire series. Um, unfortunately Anne Aguirre didn't make it to Rare so I have the entire series and I just haven't had time to pick it up. But I absolutely love this book. This is the Sarantha Jacks series. So very excited to continue with that one when I have time. And then I have the Sweet Pea series by Catherine Moon. I read the first book, A Baker's Guide to Risky Rituals, I think. Um, I know that there are two books out in this series, but I don't know whether it's actually a series that is being continued or if it's just stopped. <laughs> So um, I am going to wait for news on that one uh, before I read book two, I think. Um, back to some babe reading, I have Stars and Shadows by Holly Renee. I read the first book, A Kingdom of Stars and Shadows, and again, we'll be picking up the rest of the series this weekend. Very much looking forward to these. Then I read the first book in the Murderbot Diaries uh, by Martha Wells, which is All Systems Red. I didn't really enjoy this one. It was alright, but I'm not sure that I'm going to continue it. Haven't decided yet because they are short and I did like some of it, so we'll see. Um, next one was the Carnivay Warrior Bar Bride Games by Margot Bond Collins. Again, I read the first one. These are like little novellas. Um, Margot Bond Collins was meant to be at Babe and has recently dropped out. So really sad that I won't be picking these ones up, but I may continue them on KU. I don't know. Um, we'll see with that one. I did really like this first one. It was a lot of fun, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, next series was The Wayward Children by Sean and Maguire. I have read book one and three in this series. Book two just didn't really interest me, so I skipped it. Um, loved book one, did not really enjoy book three. Haven't decided if I'm going to continue past this point as of right now. Next one was The Mistwick School of Music Carve of Music Craft by Jessica Corey. I absolutely loved this one and will definitely be continuing it when I am allowing myself to buy books that aren't related to Babe again. 
<laughs> so in a couple of months, I think. We'll see. But this was a really fun read. Okay. And then the Folk of the Air series, which is by Holly Black. The Cruel Prince is number one. I did a whole vlog about reading this that I'll link below. And I have already started book two. I have it out uh, from my library as an ebook right now. So hopefully I will finish that one in the next few days. And more thoughts on that soon. <laughs> Um, I also have uh, the Tea Dragon series. The first one is the Tea Dragon Society. Yes, by Kay O'Neill. Um, I can't currently get to my copy of this one, but uh, this is graphic novel. Loved the first one. Haven't continued it yet, but it's on the list. Uh, next one is Adrian and Isolde by Scarlet St. Clair. The first one is King of Battle and Blood. We'll also be picking this one up this weekend. This is just a duology, so I think I will have a quick flick through reminder of book one, particularly the ending, and then I'll jump straight into book two. I think it's a duology. Now that I've said that, I'm questioning it. But there's two out right now, so I think it's a duology. I think her next book is something else. Anyway, <laughs> next one is The Halifax Hellions by Alexandria Vasti. I read f uh, the first one in this, which is in which Margot Halifax earns her shocking reputation for Eurovisionathon. This is a short historical romance novella. I just downloaded book two, so these are um, exclusive to Fasti's newsletter. So I just got around to getting book two and I'm looking forward to picking that up. I think I'm going to save it for a few months. Not super in the historical romance mood right now, but we'll see. Next one uh, is Hester New Hotshots by Veronica Eden. The first one is Iced Out. I'm really hoping I managed to pick this one up this weekend because I missed the pre-order for Veronica Eden. This one has an absolutely stunning like illustrated cover edition that's going to be a babe and I'm I really really want that so I'm hoping I get it. Uh, this is an ice hockey romance. It's the only the first book is out. This is just came out in May. Loved this. I haven't really had a chance to talk about it but I absolutely loved it. I'm so excited and I'll probably talk more about it in my haul, crossing fingers that I do get a copy. And then finally, I have Pack Darling. Uh, this is part one by Lola Rock. I literally just finished this one yesterday, the day before. Early, like either the first or second day of June. I can't remember which one but really enjoyed it. This is just a duology. I already have part two literally just beside me. This is also for Babe. Uh, I bought these ones before the event. Very much looking forward to getting to meet Lola. I met her briefly at Rare, so very excited to talk to her now that I've read this. Um, definitely more thoughts about this one coming as well. So those are all the ones I have started so far. I don't think we're too out of control, especially if we don't compare to the ones that I've continued or finished, then this doesn't look so bad. But that's the end of today's video. Hopefully I will be continuing some of these in the next month, now that I will have some of them. Plan on doing some kind of video maybe towards the end of the year, maybe in like October as well, we'll see. Um, talking about this again, we'll see how we go. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all then. Bye.